everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. Now as always if you don't want to watch the entire video you can just skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we only have information for Time of Legends Joan of Arc, Enchanters, Hell the Last Saga, and Super Fantasy Brawl. So let's get to it. For Joan of Arc this week, as we've already shared with you, the factory skipped the white samples phase. However, they did send us physical proofs of the printed materials. Now, most of them are on printed rolls to speed up the process. So they don't look like the actual product, which is why we aren't going to be sharing them with you. This will give us the opportunity to make some final checks and see what the printed version looks like before we hit the print button with the factory. They did, however, send us the pre-production copy of the new scenario collection book that contains all 54 scenarios that have been created for Joan of Arc. And we wanted to share some of those images with you. So images of the English version will come first, followed by images of the French version. Enjoy.
For our Enchanters backers today, we wanted to give you as much insight to the process of reprinting the cards and dividers as we have at this point. Now, our plan is to reprint the cards and dividers during the retail printing of Enchanters that we already had scheduled for this summer. Unfortunately, we can't share an exact date or even a month right now as we have other projects that are already in the pipeline which our factory has yet to set actual production dates on as well. So as soon as those projects timelines become more solidified, the factory will be able to come up with a more concrete timeline for enchanters and then we'll be able to share it with you. Rest assured, we do have a definite month in mind for which we are shooting but because many aspects of this project are out of our control at this point, we don't want to share that target month with you in case it doesn't work out. Please know, however, that we are committed to reprinting the cards and dividers, and that as soon as we are able to share more concrete information with you, we most certainly will. For Hell, the last saga this week, we've previously shared on the progress of the project and presented a modification of the quarry miniature meant to replace the cardboard quarry tokens. Little did we know that this modification would invoke such a visceral response. That update has the largest number of comments and reactions since the end of the campaign, both here and on social media outlets affiliated with this project the vast majority of which were opposed to this particular modification. The clarity within which your reactions and concerns were written encouraged us to return that favor on several points. First, no, the modification of this token does not mean a general downgrading of the game or a desire to go cheap on the production side of Hell. Quite the contrary, Hell will offer more components in terms of content and will cost us more to make than was calculated during the campaign, but we remain committed to what we've advertised. It seemed to us that during our other development updates that we had demonstrated our desire to enrich the game, not degrade it. And we're sorry that our first proposal for the new quarry token led to all these efforts being misunderstood and we want to once again make clear our commitment to offer the highest quality game from all aspects. Second, no, political correctness does not dictate our choices. In fact, we believe the nature of this game truly ignores the idea of political correctness and will prove to be quite disturbing in several ways. The modification of the quarry miniature was mainly based on internal considerations of game design, meaning, and component value in the sense that this miniature is a 3D conversion of a cardboard token representing quarry. The real question being, does a simple token representing a secondary action need to be as detailed, large, and visually important as a hero or hostile? Those who played the tabletop simulator version of the game know this token and that it already featured the artwork of the dough. Third, no. Disney has no influence on hell. <laughs> so to sum up, we're once again working on another update for this 3D token, considering your feedback, but also keeping in mind those de developmental considerations mentioned above. Rest assured, this has not dampened our enthusiasm in sharing with you the different stages of creation, development, and manufacturing for fear of a new gate. On the contrary, your passionate reactions are humbling and push us to constantly question ourselves while making the decisions that we think are relevant. And finally, just a reminder and short update for Super Fantasy Brawl today. The Pledge Manager will be closing this Friday, May 14th. So please do your best to finalize your pledge by that day as it will assuage much grief later on down the road with regards to the logistics of getting your pledge to you once fulfillment begins. Now with that being said, we wanted to remind you that we are still in talks with Felter for storage solutions but are waiting on quotes to come back from them that will help us determine which solutions will be the most viable and cost effective for both old and new backers. Those solutions that make the final cut will be shared in our eShop as soon as we're comfortable doing so, and we will update you on their posting as soon as it's done. 
With regards to the shipment of said potential solutions, Felder has in the past shipped them directly to our backers from their own factory. And we hope that to be the case now as well, though it hasn't been confirmed yet. We know it would have been ideal to have this choice available to you during the pledge manager, and we remain committed to following through in providing a storage solution or solutions that will cater to our backers' needs, both new and old. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English. And then at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in there if you have any questions or if you just want to see what he might spoil. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, and play some games while you're at it. We'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <music>